All right, guys, we have some global news to go over, not just some, quite a bit of global news to go over that dropped very late tonight. Global just got an update, and there's a lot of stuff that's been put into the database. There's a lot of uh, controversial stuff that one might say, and we are going to talk about it all and more on this episode of Dokkan News. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, let's go over what was in the actual update in terms of like gameplay stuff, um, and then we'll get into the, um, I guess what I would consider controversial stuff, I don't know, maybe you don't think it is, but, I mean, you know, whatever. Anyway, um, so, in terms of new cards that have been added to the database, the Thousand Day LR Goku, which we should have expected, you know, because Global's Thousand Day Celebration is going to be happening extremely soon, as you can see down there. Um, the new Honey Pan, um, so, like, basically, you know how the Pan event was only 80 stamina and then JP got the 100 stamina one that gives you tons of more XP? Um, looks like Global's finally getting that because the brand new B Pan, um, Dokkan Awakening is there. If we can get to BZ space to load, maybe we can see it, but, you know, everybody's <laughs> on it right now, and it's always, you know, going down right when the stuff is, uh, released, so... That's why that's taking a while. Oh, cool. It actually is there. Sweet. So as you can see, the B-Pan Dokkan Awakening is there um, and is translated and scheduled. Same thing with the um, Raditz and the um, Raditz. <laughs> and of course, the Goku here. Um, let's see here. And then LR Bojack has also been translated with no release date. Um, but, the, but he does note here that the Bojack event returns the 10th of April. Um, let's actually see. Let's look in the inactive list. Not, oh no, he would be here, right? Where's my man Bojack? I do not see him. Probably, well, no, there he is. Okay, yeah, so he is definitely translated there. So that's cool. So definitely, definitely in the database. Um, so that's cool. So that means Bojack is definitely coming soon. He is a very underestimated LR, guys. And I know you've seen some videos about him. Maybe people dogging on the boy. You've seen some people hyping him up. He's a pretty good unit. I would definitely throw at least a couple of stones at the banner for him. Um, but nonetheless, the free-to-play AoE Raditz is really cool. Um, he's a great free-to-play unit. Maybe not as good as some people hype him up to be, but still a great free-to-play unit nonetheless. Um, and it's cool that Global's finally getting that uh, the new B-Pan stage. Upcoming events. Um, so this is obviously Raditz's event, so that's cool. You know, you get, like, rewards. Um, you get some Kais and stones and stuff like that. This is a great stage, by the way, to farm training items. Um, like, the weights... Um, you can farm a ton from the actual stage itself, not the rewards. Um, so that's definitely a good place to do that. Um, so definitely look into doing that when the event comes out. If you haven't seen anyone play through the event, I actually have a video about it on the channel if you want to scroll back a little bit. Um, of course, you know, here we're talking about Pan's um, stage, which I just talked about before. Um, Galactic Crisis returning 410. You know, this most likely means LR Bojack will drop around the same time because, if you guys don't know, to awaken LR Bojack, you actually need medals from that event. So anyone who's pulled them on JP, um, you know, has not really been able to awaken them unless they've been able to catch the uh, medals in the Baba Shop. So make sure if you do pull LR Bojack, you get that done right away um, because once that event goes away, you gotta just... Keep your Hawkeyes on the Baba Shop. Also, this is very interesting. Missions suggest that EZA Broly is coming the 9th of April. That would be, I think that's a lot quicker than he came on JP. You know, I think there was a more of a substantial wait between the Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Broly coming. But that's cool, nonetheless. Um, that also means then the EZA Broly banner will be dropping then, which means Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta on that banner. And I don't remember who else was on it. Um... But if they don't change the banner, of course, then he'll still be on it. Um, so that's cool. But that is it for the upcoming events. Then, this is the thing I know you're all here for, the Thousand Day Celebration. Um, so here's what's interesting about this, right? Um, it looks like Global is actually going to be getting two parts of the celebration, which JP did not. We just got one big celebration for it. Um, and it looks like Global's getting double the tickets, which is actually really cool. Um, so daily, of course, concerned um, concern, consume 30 stamina a day, and you get, um, two times, you know, you get two tickets for the thousand day tickets, um, clearing 10 Dokkan events until the ninth gets you 10 stones in total, one each time, so that's pretty cool, consuming 1k stamina rewards, one Elder Kai, so these, of course, are, you know, like, over time, and then this one's daily, um, it's really good, you definitely want to pick up those tickets, um, let me see if I can actually find what the thousand day ticket banner was on jp um in the background 
Anyhow, that's what the ticket is going to look like, by the way, if you've never seen it before. Um, let's see here. Then, so this is part two. So that part one will go from the 30th to the 9th, right? Um, and then part two will go from the 9th to the 19th. Um, and then, of course, by the way, for this 1,000-day Goku, if you don't know how you get them, it is consecutive login, not um, daily. Or not, sorry, it's not consecutive login. It's over time login. Wow, that would have been bad to mess that up. Basically, so like, you know how when you log in every day, you have the top counter and the bottom counter? The top counter is what you should be looking for, which is your overall login days. So if you've been playing since the first day that Global launched, then you should get this guy. I mean, you know, if you've been playing day three or two, you know, you should get this guy pretty soon because it is as soon as Global hits 1,000 days you finally get them so that's pretty cool then um you know so part two here is again you get more of these tickets um and i believe um my buddy cave i was just talking to him before this um i think in total then you can get 60 tickets because for jp we only got 30 total because of just how like the time was if someone wants to correct my math with the dates and stuff it's really late <laughs> it's 2 30 a.m um and i'm very tired so i'm not going to do the math but if you'd like to do the math with how much tickets that is per day um for both of those parts you can let me know in the comment section below and I'll pin your comment. Um, but nonetheless, so we got that again. Um, clearing the 30 stages total rewards 7 stones. I think that's just 30 of any stage. Um, perform extreme Z Awakening rewards 3 stones. So there you go. Again, they heavily imply that Broly's extreme Z Awakening is coming. Um, by the way, for Broly, um, you need hybrid Saiyans or Super AGL as the super effective types if you weren't aware. Uh, and then spending 1k stamina rewards, 1 diamond Herco statue. Not as good as a cut, in my opinion, but it's still quite a bit of zenny. So that's everything we got there. Let's see if we can find the... Ooh, that banner's so sexy, my boy. Um, let's see if we can find some of these... Uh, or let's see if we can find the 1000 day banner here, right? And then we'll get into some of the more uh, controversial stuff, one might say. Alrighty. Um, let's keep going. Let's actually close um, this and we'll close this. Um, that's what we're going to look at in a second there. All right. We will scroll because my OBS is having a heart attack because I got something. Uh, <laughs> hopefully the video is not screwed up because I don't want to do it again. <laughs> But I got a uh, I got something open in the background. Here we go. So yes, the thousand day ticket banner um, was the banner that had all of the 120 leads on it, and of course a bunch of other stuff. Um, you know, some of these are not very good, like Tech Beerus. Obviously, you know Broly is kind of outdated before at this point. Excuse me. You know how I feel about him. <laughs> Um, but nonetheless, you know, you got all the 120s on here, which is awesome. Um, tons of great units, you know. Obviously, Vegeta's great. Trunks is pretty good. Emerge Zamasu is pretty fantastic. EGL Rose is still really good, even though, you know, uh, STR has outclassed him. Same with uh, Physical VB. You know, and this is a good chance to get some of these older cards that haven't come back in a while, like the 70% leads. I um, mean, you know, Frieza is definitely a unit that you want to try and pick up. Um, and then, for, you know, for the rest of the units in the banner, it's just like your standard SSRs or whatever. Um, I don't think the LRs were in here. Well, yeah, I guess we scrolled through and we didn't see any, huh? Yeah, because it's technically a Dokkan Fest banner, um, because it's like the thousand day Dokkan Fest. Um, so that's everything that's featured on it. It's got a lot of featured cards. So that's the only unfortunate thing on the banner is that you're probably not going to pull what you want. Um, you'll get something, hopefully, um, I never got anything. You guys actually remember that video because I posted that. I think the best thing I got was Full Power Frieza. Um, and I did those like every day that we got the tickets. Um, so you might not get what you want. You might get shafted or you might get exactly what you want. But there are a lot of, uh, you know, units featured on this banner. So you have to see. Also, the other guy is kind of frustrating getting as helpful to, as it is. You know, it doesn't compare to getting freaking like, you know, Angel Coup or whatever. Anyhow. That's a thousand day ticket banner, so I figured I'd bring that up just to, uh, you know, show you guys what was on it, because honestly, <laughs> it's been so long I've forgotten myself. Um, but here is where we kind of get into the uh, controversial, controversial, excuse me, it's really late. I know I keep tripping over my words, I'm sorry. Controversial side of things. Um, so if we look here, where is it? Um, right here, right? So this is a screenshot from Dokkan, um, server maintenance announcement. So this is talking about that there's going to be maintenance um, tomorrow night. As you can see, it's 21 army time to the 27th um, at 1. Or no, it's sorry, PST, uh, not army time by then. It's just like, you know, the 24-hour clock instead of the 12-hour clock in PST. Um, but anyway, 
So as you can see the line in there, the maintenance will be extended if the application is delayed to be released in the app store. Um, so of course, you know, after the maintenance uh, is over, then people will start to get back in. But this is something very interesting that we have to look at. So you guys have heard me talk about, I talked about in the news video the other day, when we talked about it on stream, you know, how Apple is technically breaking, or not Apple, sorry, um, Akatsuki, I guess this would be, um, you know, make more sense that this would be their fault, but I guess it could be Bandai. I'm not too sure, but either way, um, Dokkan is well aware that they're breaking Apple's TOS, that they need to display the gacha rates. If you guys don't know, if you haven't heard about this yet, um, basically, Someone was frustrated um, with Apple that um, they, you know, that Dokkan on Global wasn't displaying the gotcha rates yet, which granted is a valid complaint. You know, they should have had them displayed a while ago because of a new um, rule that Apple put in place. But it, the whole thing was blown out of proportion, um, well over more than it needed to be. Um, you know, which kind of seems to happen with these sort of things, unfortunately. Um, but Apple is definitely aware that they're breaking the TOS, so. Um, that is the contributor to that line in the update. Uh, and then they said this makes it seem as if the app went live early unless we're getting another one tomorrow. He means an app update, um, which doesn't make any sense, but it's Bandai, <laughs> you know. It is Bandai after all. Um, this app was meant to be, um, this map was meant to be released tomorrow. So basically it seems like, um, Let's see, there is a chance they will activate. Right, so this was another thing to note. Um, this update for JP was what brought the, um, the updated hidden potential system. Um, and so this is one thing that he said, you know, um, there is a chance they will um, change the hidden potential system, you know, after the maintenance tomorrow. <laughs> Put your pitchforks down. I sure hope so, because Global deserves it. And honestly, I have not been putting orbs in any of my units <laughs> on Global, because um, I've been waiting for this, because it's just so much easier with this freaking update. Um, if you guys have played JP a little bit, you'll know how easy it is um, to do it with that update. But, um, so, cause he's talking about, um, where is it right here, right? The maintenance will be extended if the application is delayed to be released on the app store. Um, wasn't there a thing here to, um, let's see for those of you the app to update was accidental. Uh, right. So this was something that I had open already here. Um, so basically, um, the version update, you know, so it says that it was released to fix an error, which is interesting. So that would imply, you know, because here we kind of thought that when was that post made actually? Hold on. Um, basically, like this post was kind of implying that, you know, the app update was sort of like a mistake. Um, and, um, you know, so that was like, you know, oh, did they update it by accident? You know, because we were talking about the Apple thing. Um, okay, so this was 33 minutes ago, and this was not that one. This was 29. Okay, so I don't know. Kind of confusing there. But nonetheless, it seems like it was on purpose, but I feel like so maybe Zahal's um, implying it was not on purpose. But it makes it seem as if the app went early. Right, okay, so basically it's making it seem like it, but this kind of denies that fact. I don't know. That's that's neither here nor here. Oh my gosh, neither here nor there. I'm gonna upload this and go right to bed. <laughs> anyway, um, so basically, um, saying you know that it was fixing an error, and this is highly recommended to issue a transfer code to proceed with Facebook. We're gonna talk about that before we end the video. I'm um, also this was something I guess in the French version. Um, there was an error on the Scouter page, um, which you know didn't affect the gameplay or anything not exactly sure what that was um if someone in the comments could give me some more information on that that would be great um but nonetheless um that is technically everything we have um so this was something interesting to note um you know so, so the the update was a lot of bug fixes like you saw in the notice um and then so this is kind of something interesting this means global is no longer following the same app versions as japan meaning that because we didn't get that potential system um update you know when jp did then technically we can't expect um, the same updates from JP to be the same on global, which again, the maintenance could still fix that. And then we could be back on track, but we just don't know yet. Um, so something that I'm going to tell you guys though, um, especially this is for all of you Apple people. If you don't have your account backed up to Facebook 
or if you don't have your account, um, you don't have a transfer code, make one right now. Click off this video right now because this is the end anyway. We covered all the news. Go link your Facebook. If you don't have a Facebook, make one. I literally made one for my Dokkan account just so I could link it to that because it's, trust me, it's a lot easier to transfer your data. Um, with Facebook than it is with a transfer code plus and if you lose the transfer code you're kind of screwed whereas Facebook you know you can just log in on any device and it works great um, highly recommend Facebook but if you're not about that keep that transfer code safe send it to yourself through text put it on your Google Drive put it on your Dropbox whatever you use put it on a thumb drive even if you feel that's necessary uh, keep that safe because, you know, if they delay the app update, you know, or even sometimes, you know, I've heard cases of like the, the you know, the game updates and then people's account is gone and they didn't back it up or something like that. Super rare. So don't get scared by that. But always have a backup of anything that you do. You know, always have it backed up. So um, I know they say it here just kind of as a general purpose warning. Um, where is it? Um, they always say this, you know, pretty much in a lot of these updates, you know, we recommend making transfer code or whatever. Um, but especially since, you know, all these shenanigans are going on with Apple right now and we just really don't know, um, you know, what's going on with that too much. Um, make a transfer code. And then if worse comes to worse, you know, and God forbid, you know, it's so bad that, you know, and this isn't going to happen, but, you know, just as a hypothetical, God forbid, you know, <laughs> you can't get Dokkan on Apple anymore. At least you can, you know, download an Android emulator and play it on your computer. Or I guess if you're going to go to the extent and buy an Android phone, Android for life, by the way. We don't have these problems over here. <laughs> Sorry, I had to say it. Anyway, um, you know, then you can at least play it on an Android emulator on your computer. Um, and that type of stuff, you know, or until they get it back up and running. Because if they, you know, if it really did go down on Apple, they would lose tons and tons of money. Because... Apple is a very big, uh, you know, a very big phone company that a lot of people use. And if you can't play Dokkan on it, you know, sales are going to tank or not sales are going to tank They're, You get the point. Their profits are going to tank. There we go. That's what I meant to say. But that's not going to happen. So don't worry about it. Um, like I said in um, a video or stream, something like that, um, I was talking about how like, if this, you know, does come to fruition that, you know, like, like if the rates really are rigged, which I don't think they are, um, but you know, it'll only be better for Dokkan because that means they'll get other people, you know, working on that section of the game, you know, and then it will only be better because then the rates won't be rigged if they really are, or if there really is a problem going on behind the scenes, this will cause them to fix the problem. So this isn't a bad thing that they're getting, you know, searched or whatever, or, you know, whatever they're doing behind the scenes. It's a good thing because the game will only improve because of it. So the game isn't going to get taken down. I was just saying that, you know, just in case anything were to ever happen in the game, you know, just saying back up your account. Game's not going to go down, though. So just ignore that that I even said that because I'm tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> either way, though, this video is already long enough. Hope you guys enjoyed all the news either way, um, and I'll catch you in the next one. I bring you two out. Peace. By the way, links to everything will be in the description.